So initial lab view initially configures objects in the controls palette as controls or indicators based on their typical use. For example, if we place a toggle switch then it appears as a control because a toggle switch is usually an input mechanism. If we place an LED then it appears as an indicator because an LED is usually an input device. Some palettes contain a control and an indicator for the same type or class of object. For example, the numeric palette contains a numeric control as well as a numeric indicator because we can have a numeric input or a numeric output. We can change a control to an indicator by right clicking the object and selecting change to indicator from the shortcut menu and we can change an indicator to a control by right clicking the object and selecting change to control from the shortcut menu.